Hello Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome. If you're new, um, today's video is going to be a reading all about what your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time and what are their energies or intentions towards you or towards the connection. As always, this is meant to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. Take what resonates, what applies to your situation, leave the rest for Aquarius, please. In regards to love. All right, Aquarius. Okay, so that's all I wanna take. They told me to stop, so let's see. Wedding, this situation involves marriage and finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Interesting. So some of you are already married to this person or the person you're dealing with. One of you is married. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Interesting. Finances and career. Some of you are trying to um, plan a wedding and it's not um, maybe because of what's going on. Finances are a factor or a career is a factor. Okay, let's get into this. For Aquarius, please. What can you tell me? For Aquarius regarding love. you guys in regards to love can you tell me about this situation between Aquarius and the person they're thinking about okay we got action deceit very interesting what else Happy family. What? Very interesting. Deceit regarding a family situation. Um, some of you are married with kids or your person is married with kids. There's deceit here in some way. Someone needs to take action regarding something here. Okay, let's get into the tarot because I am so curious right now. Someone's not telling the truth about something. That is for sure. Does it have to do with a family? Okay, I'm gonna try to shuffle the Light Sears Tarot. For Aquarius, please. In regards to love, for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. What can you tell me about what comes for them in love this month? Hangman reversed. The Empress. Ten of Cups. By the way, we do reversals on this channel. If you don't like reversals, then you should click off now. Um, I can't control what comes out. If the whole spread is reversals, that's the message. And reversals aren't negative, guys. It's just a different message. I don't know why people think that a reversal is a bad card. It's not. It just means the message is different. And that's the message you're meant to hear. So if it doesn't resonate, once again, check out your other placements. You know, not every reading is for you. What else for Aquarius, please, Spirit? Knight of Cups reversed. Libra just got this card in the same position. The world reversed and death reversed. something here there's no closure or an, an, an inability to start a new beginning and it has to do with a family unit we have happy family and ten of cups right underneath i don't think that's a coincidence with the hangman reversed i feel like whoever wants to take action here they don't want to sacrifice or they don't want to let go of something And then we got the Empress. They tend to already be in a commitment, the Empress. They are beauty and love and nurturing. They can manifest and grow anything. Um, and this is under deceit. 
So it's almost like someone wants to manifest something here, but they're blocked from making it happen. Also, I'm, I wasn't going to mention the bottom of the deck here with the energy oracle cards because I already have three cards, right? But then I got strength here at the bottom and just to show you, I got the angel of strength at the bottom here too. Very interesting to me anyway. So a lot of you are dealing with a situation with a Leo and others of you, this situation is going to require you to have strength, have courage. So let's get into this. I'm going to use the same deck to clarify because that's what I've been told to do. I'm sure I'm going to get comments about that too. <laughs> you can't please everybody, so I don't stress about it. All right, tell me about the hangman reverse. What's this about? What's the hangman reverse about? Six of cups, something to do with the past. Again, I really get the sense that the children are involved for a lot of you. Someone wants to take action towards the past here. Now this could be you that I'm talking about Aquarius or the person you're dealing with, okay? Because tarot is all about energy, energy is fluid. Tarot is not black and white, okay? So I could be talking about you this whole time, both of you or your person. There could even be a third person here, but let me not get ahead of myself. Tell me about the hangman reverse. Seven of Swords reverse. So there's that deceit energy. Someone getting caught doing something. And I don't know why I keep getting these messages. Um, I feel like, I don't know if it's the planetary shifts. Oh, and strength again. Yeah, someone here needs to be strong or needs to control their emotions about a situation that involved deception regarding the past or regarding children. Again, some of you are dealing with a Leo energy, someone that has Leo in their chart somewhere, but more than anything, I'm getting uh, someone here is was unable to let go or is refusing to let go of something that happened in the past that involved deception. bottom of the deck four of cups reversed so someone here has had a change of heart or has changed their mind about something or someone and it's this person here whoever needs to have courage or whoever needs to control their emotions it's because they're having a change of heart about something you know they're realizing something about themselves or the person they're with tell me about the empress the Empress doing here okay so we got nine of cups reverse and I think this king of wands is upright so I'm gonna put him like this king of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius energy this is the action card this king of wands tends to move forward move towards what they're attracted to what inspires them um, what they're passionate about they are brave um, they get what they want they finish what they start that kind of energy i feel this king of wands is trying to approach this empress <laughs> but then i have the nine of cups reverse so I feel like for me as a reader, the Nine of Cups reverse is someone who still gets their wish granted. It's just not what they thought it was going to be. It ended up not ended up not being as satisfying as they thought it was going to be. This King of Wands might have gotten his Empress and it's not what he thought it was going to be. Three of Cups reverse at the bottom. Again, a third party energy here. Um, this, this third party interference does not have to be another romantic partner it could be anything that's interfering in this connection so another person family unit like 
you know, parent or something like that. It could be finances, career, distance, anything that's interfering. Something here is interfering in this connection. Tell me more about this Empress. Wow, that's a lot. That's way too many. There's like five cards there. Tell me about this Empress Spirit. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel like picking up a card yet, guys. Please bear with me. Okay. Okay. Eight of Cups. Interesting. Very interesting. King of Pentacles reverse at the bottom. So I'm getting here that somebody, either this King of Wands or this Empress, are walking away because their wish was not what they thought it was going to be. One of these two is walking away. It could be you, Aquarius, or it could be the person you're dealing with. And they don't have to be walking away from you. They could be walking away from a third party as well, or whatever's interfering. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Let's move on here. Tell me about this Ten of Cups, please. Queen of Wands reverse. Seven of Cups. Nine of Swords. Queen of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy again. For me as a reader, they tend to be a kind of home wrecker energy <laughs> uh, because they are the person who goes after what they want and they don't care who they hurt. They have no remorse for what they do. Um, because all they're focused on is their pleasure alone. They don't care who they affect or who they hurt. Um, Queen of Wands Reverse could also be someone who is very, um, uh, they crave attention, uh, they have a bad temper. They're very unhappy, this Queen of Wands reverse. Very combative. The star reverse at the bottom. There you are. Aquarius energy here. Something feels hopeless. Someone's someone's feeling like, like things aren't working out for them. Like things are never going to get better. Uh, with this Nine of Swords and this star reverse. Someone's feeling guilt, anxiety, stress over what they have to do, over the options that they need to evaluate here. Because they, I feel like this Queen of Wands is affecting a family unit. Um, it could also be that on the outside, everything looks happy, hunky-dory. On the outside, this is a happy family, a happy connection. But inside, there's confusion, there is stress, anxiety, fights, arguments, etc. Things are not what they seem here. What's behind the star? Knight of Wands reverse, Two of Pentacles reverse, and Two of Swords. Someone here is going back and forth about what to do with a player type energy, someone that's unwilling to commit, someone that they can't trust or rely on. Very interesting. Now again, this could be you Aquarius or the person you're dealing with. One of you is dealing with a Queen of Wands reverse. This this was, this could be the third party as well. I have a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands and they're not seeing eye to eye. And then we have this beautiful Empress as well. So. There could be three people here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse, please. Three of Pentacles reversed. Another. Th have we gotten a three yet? 
That's the first three? Okay. Three of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups reverse. Six of Swords reverse. What else? The moon. Pisces energy here with the moon. Confusion, doubt, illusion. Something is not what it seems with the moon. This hangman reverse could also be someone that's refusing to see things from a different angle. Refusing to, it's like they're only stuck in one one frame of mind, one viewpoint. And I think it has to do with this moon. Now, I don't know. I feel like this side of cups reverse. He's a sweet talker. So they tend to just say what they need to say to get people to, to listen, to pay attention, to get what they want. Um, so I'm getting the sense that An illusion, a mystery, a secret regarding an interference is keeping someone from transitioning into a peaceful or more stable environment. A third party from the past could also be coming back. And this is a secret. Up until someone figures it out, of course. A lot of message. I'm getting a lot of messages here. I'm trying to like filter it through in, in my mind. Someone that's trying to leave a situation as well. This eight of cups energy. It's, it's not working. It's not working. Someone's confusing someone here and it's causing them to delay their departure. This is crazy. Didn't I have a crazy reading with a third party situation for you guys? I feel like this is still ongoing. And this is gonna happen fast, Knight of Swords at the bottom. This situation here, Four of Wands. It has to do with a home, something to do with home. Something to do with a family. There's there's confusion and illusion there. It's not as it seems. Tell me about the world reverse, because otherwise I'll be here forever. Tell me about the world reverse, please. Six of Pentacles reverse. Something's not balanced here. Tell me more about the world reverse. Another king, king of swords, reverse. There's a lot of people here, guys. At least. I see four so far. Tell me more about the world reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. I immediately thought of that finances and career. This King of Swords is throwing me off because this King of Swords reverse is an evil, manipulative person. They tend to be deceitful. They twist the truth. They block 
They're very hard to talk to. You actually can't even talk to them. Can't get through the through can't get through to them. This king of swords is messing everything up. Nothing's working. Someone doesn't want to work with this king of swords. They don't want to balance things with this king of swords. There's there's something here to do with effort and giving up and not getting enough. And so someone's tired or fed up with what this King of Swords has been bringing to the table. It's not enough for them. And so now this King of Swords is very unbalanced because I feel like someone's trying to walk away from them. Again, it does not have to be a male energy. It could be a female as well. But someone's trying to have a new beginning. They want to walk away. They want to walk away towards their wish fulfillment. They want to uh, transition to a more balanced situation, a more calm environment. And they're blocked from doing that. Tell me about death reverse. This is someone that's resisting change that does not want something to end. Does not want to transition or is blocked from transitioning into uh, you know, something new. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Tell me more about death reverse, please. Five of Cups, someone still thinking of the past, feeling regret, disappointment about how things have played out. Tell me more about death. Seven of Wands and Five of Wands reversed. Someone's giving up on or no longer wanting to fight. No longer wanting to, you know, someone, someone's like, I don't, I don't have it in me to keep this drama going. The Emperor reversed Aries energy at the bottom here. Another person, uh, the divine counterpart to the empress, but again, they're they're not seeing eye to eye. So if there's a partnership here, like a marriage, they're not seeing eye to eye, and there's a third party here, some sort of interference that someone wants to move towards, but they can't. And 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 a, you know, cloaking all of this is this illusion of a happy family, illusion of happiness. And everything working out, but it's it's a, just that it's an illusion. There's a lot of conflict here, arguing, fighting, feeling defensive. You know, someone's like tired. And I don't think this "love yourself first" card is a coincidence. It's almost like someone has to love themselves first to not deal with this energy anymore. One more, please, for the death card reverse. And I feel like their disappointment, their ties to the past, possibly because of children, are keeping them sad, stressed, anxious, dealing with an unbalanced, dealing with a deceitful energy. You know, someone needs to be brave enough to get out of this. Tell me more about death reverse. One card, please, spread for death reverse for Aquarius. Eight of Wands reverse. Again, with a delay, the inter like a message intercepted, movement blocked. And we got the Queen of Swords reversed. A lot of people here, and I don't think it's like romantic partners. I feel like this is a family or a friend unit. There's too many people involved or too many people that have an influence here for a lot of you. For others of you, um, I just get the sense that there's like, yeah, there's like difficulties regarding an interference maybe finances, maybe career, maybe um, deceit. Got 
someone's emotions are getting the best of them are blocking they're blocking themselves from a transformation a new beginning you know they know what they want king of wands empress they know what they want king of wands and empress like they are doers they don't just dream they act and so I really get the sense that this is what someone wants to do. But they're stuck in, in a cycle. They're stuck in a cycle. They, they don't have the courage possibly to completely end something. They're stuck in this illusion, this imaginary fairy tale or something like that, that has to some tie to the past or the children. Um, and even though someone has caught this person, it's like they're still stuck. They don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to let go. And this could be you, Aquarius, or the person you're dealing with. 